This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Okay, this is the uh, second of several lectures on Chapter 6 of the free lecture notes of paper F2, where we're looking at inventory control. Uh, and in the first lecture, we looked at the um, economic order quantity, where, uh, which was simply sticking figures in uh, the formula that's given you in the exam. And if you remember, for example, one, we found the economic order quantity was 800. Uh, and also, for the exam, make sure you can show the costings if it's required. Uh, the reorder cost, the holding cost. The total inventory cost of 2,000. That was the minimum. And if you remember, uh, we'd ignored the actual cost over the year of buying the goods, because however many we ordered each time, we were still buying 40,000 over the year, and we were still paying 25 a unit. So we'd be paying a million per year, whatever happened. So all we were after for the economic order quantity uh, was the order quantity that minimised the inventory costs. However, there is one case where we'd have to look at the purchase cost. And it's when you get quantity discounts. So if you turn over and look at paragraph six or straight to example three, just have a look at what we're told and then let's see the relevance of it. It says, for the information given in example one, so that one we did in the last lecture, the supplier now offers us discounts on purchase price as follows. Well, it depends on the order quantity. So if we order between zero and 5,000 each time, we get no discount at all. But if we're prepared to order 5,000 or more each time, we'll have a 1% discount. 10,000 or more, we'll get a 1.5% discount. Now we know the inventory costs are minimised at 800. Uh, if we ordered 5,000 each time, then surely, think back to that graph, the inventory cost, 800 was the minimum, if it's 5,000, the inventory cost is bound to be higher. But it could be worth paying more inventory costs if the purchase price is lower. Well, here, there's no quick way, there's no formula. The only way we can do it is by costing out the alternatives. So let's do it. First of all, we've already done the EOQ. And we know that at the EOQ of 800 units, we know what the inventory costs will be over the year. I'm not going to show the workings again, we've just done it. It'll be 2,000. Uh, the total purchase cost over the year, 40,000 units at $25 was a million. So the two together, 1 million and 2,000 a year. We then say, well, maybe it's worth ordering 5,000 each time, because although the inventory costs will be higher, the purchase cost will be lower because of the discount. So let's now try 5,000 units each time. Well, what will be the inventory costs? The reorder cost, we've done this enough time, surely. Uh, we still need 40,000 a year, 5,000 each time will mean eight orders. And at $20 an order, that will be 160. What about the holding cost? Well, if we order 5,000 each time, the average inventory will be 2,500 units. The cost per unit, ah, a tiny little trick here. Uh, remember, the holding cost was 10% of the purchase price. But if we order 5,000 each time, we get a 1% discount. So the purchase price will be slightly lower. It will only be 99% of 25. 
And so the holding cost for you is this. 99% of 25 is 24.75. 10% of that, it's slightly lower at 24.475. So it's a tiny thing, but even so. And so over the year, uh, multiply that by 2,500, the average uh, inventory, it's 6,188. And so as you'd expect, the holding costs are massively higher. Sorry, the inventory costs, I apologise, 6,348. However, as I said earlier, it could be worth paying that extra inventory costs because over the other purchase cost now is going to be lower. Still buying 40,000 units, but instead of paying $25 a unit with a 1% discount, we're only paying 99% to 25. So the purchase costs will be lower. It'll be 990. So one's gone up, the other's gone down. Well, let's see what happens to the total. Uh, oh, the total is 996348. And so in total, it is cheaper. We'd be better to order 5,000 each time than to stick with 800. Why don't we try other levels here? Why don't we try 4,000? 4,000, there'd be no point, surely. At 4,000, inventory costs are bound to be higher than at the EOQ. And at 4,000, there's no discounts. So purchase costs stay the same. So no point in trying 4,000. What about 6,000? No point in trying 6,000 because Inventory costs are going to go higher and higher. You know, they'll be higher than about 5,000. 6,000 units, there's no extra discount. So 6,000 units could only possibly be more expensive. But there is one more level worth trying. That's 10,000. Because if we're prepared to order 10,000 units each time, Inventory costs will be higher still, but there's a bigger discount, and so the purchase price will be lower. And so let's try 10,000 and see if that's any cheaper. First of all, the inventory costs, the reorder cost, 40,000 a year, 10,000 each time, so four orders each time. At $20 an order, it's 80. The holding cost, well, if we're ordering 10,000 each time, the average inventory, there'll be 5,000 units. And again, here, the order cost will change a tiny bit. It was 10% of inventory value. The cost of inventory, well, it was $25, but we're now getting a 1.5% discount, which means the cost will only be 98.5% of the 25. So the holding cost per unit sorry, 98.5% of 25, 10%, I get 2.4%. 625. I hope that's right. 10%, 98.5%, 25%. Yeah. Uh, and 5,000 units, the average inventory, it's 12,313. So, as we said, the inventory costs are massively higher, 12,393. But again, it could be worth it because the purchase cost is going to be lower. We still need 40,000 units. The cost now, after a 1.5% discount, the cost is 98.5% of 25. So the purchase cost over the year falls to 985,000. And so the two together 
997393. And no other levels worth con uh, considering. You know, if we order 20,000 each time, there's no extra saving on the purchase cost. The inventory costs are bound to be higher. And so the best one can only be either the EOQ or the levels at which we first get a discount. So here, 5,000 or 10,000. One of those three has to be the cheapest. It could be any one of the three. Which one is it here? 997, 996, a million. Here, that's the cheapest, and we would therefore order 5,000 units each time. So it's a bit time consuming, but appreciate it. It's slower here because I'm talking. And in the exam, you'd be unlikely to have to cost out three of them. Um, if this did, uh, if you did, were asked about quantity discounts, it'd probably just be the EOQ and one level of discount. Um, but it's still obviously speed on the calculator. I hope that's clear. All right, we've not finished with the inventory yet, I'm afraid. There's a couple more things to deal with, but I'll stop this lecture here. We'll go on to the next area in the third lecture.